What's going on guys? So in today's video, we've got a, another update that uh, looks like it's a scheduled update that we'll have to force manually versus the automatic ones we've seen in the past. So uh, let's get into it. All right, so as you can see up here in the top right corner, we got that download arrow with the clock again, just like last time. So let's click on that. Uh, yeah, so... All right, so this one takes longer. So this one takes 15 minutes. Um, I'm gonna break here because I actually gotta run to an appointment real quick, but uh, I'm going to wait to update this and uh, uh, then pop back at you. Okay, so I'm back from the appointment. Uh, I restarted the truck and for some reason, I'm not seeing that icon anymore. <sighs> Probably because it's on Wi-Fi. I don't know. I've been seeing, like, some days I'll see the updates available, and then other days it disappears, and then I'll go into a store and come out, and all of a sudden it's magically back again. I'm not sure why uh, why this software update uh, keeps coming and going. I wonder if there's a way to... Yeah, there we go. Uh, update now. There we go. All right, so if, if you don't see the download icon, uh, just follow the screens that I just did. Let me go back. So it's settings then scroll to the second page, system updates, and then you'll see that update now um, if, if you don't have that download option. Um, you will not be able to use the vehicle and the alarm will be disarmed. It may take up to 15 minutes. So just like the other one, um, okay, so it's saying turn off the vehicle. All right, let me go back to update, continue. I'm gonna put the window down because it's fairly toasty out all right so again it does a two minute countdown uh, and reminds you you can't use the vehicle and the alarm won't be uh, you know activated or usable so uh, I'm gonna just pause here so you guys don't have to watch the two minutes so we've got a preparing update just like the last one And I think this took a little while, so I'm going to pause again here, um, just so uh, I'm not wasting everybody's time. Okay, so just like last time, I noticed I'm noticing some things turn on and off in here. Like I noticed the little parking sensor off light flickered for a second. My uh, my dash cam, which is up under there, um, that just turned on. So it looks like during this preparing update, it is doing things, you know, to the truck. You know, it's uh, it's turning systems on and off and things like that so um, that seems to be pretty typical just like the last update that was like this okay so it just uh, finished that preparing update screen and now it's actually doing the the system update uh, like I said the old one uh, the first update that was for the trailer brake controller uh, was that took about eight minutes this one claims it'll be 15 uh, or up to 15 minutes and again it's got that message at the bottom that in case of emergency exit the vehicle from the driver or front passenger door um, I'm really not sure why you can't get out the back doors at this point but uh, I guess uh, just do what you're told so you don't screw up the update I guess uh, just just a weird message so I'll uh, pause here and then we'll, we'll come back once it's done so we got to about 59 percent and then the screen went black and then the Ford logo showed up so we'll see, uh, maybe it needed to do a restart during that process. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens next. A whole lot of nothing going on. Hopefully it's doing something in the background. It's been a couple minutes and uh, still just black screens. Let me open the door, see if I get the normal uh, welcome message. Yep, that works. That works. Not sure if I should start the truck now or what the deal is. Last time I'm pretty sure uh, it said the update was successful when it got done. Let me uh, maybe just turn on the accessories, you know, kind of, you know, no, no foot on the brake or anything, just uh, hit the engine start. Okay. Okay, so it says successfully updated. Cool. Uh, 
so we have so this is up to version 273 sorry that was just annoying me it was a little loud um minor updates here and there just small stuff to keep everything running smoothly yeah i've gotten a couple of those before um so yeah so we're up to 2.7.3 I know there is a version that I'm really looking forward to, um, you know, coming out, which, uh, from what I've heard, allows, um, from one of your comments uh, that, that you guys left, that allows you to use the camera while you're driving down the road. Because when I'm towing, I want to be able to see the hitch and, you know, other stuff going on back there, even if it's like a temporary, like, you know, 10, 30 second kind of thing. Um, I'm hoping that, that eventually I get that update that, that allows that. But uh, you kind of have to just do these baby steps and almost like, you know, uh, Apple, you know, iPhones and Android phones. It kind of, you know, the releases come slowly, um, you know, and you just have to kind of just wait for it, unfortunately. Even though you, you can go in and force it to check for updates, it'll say nothing's available until your vehicle was basically chosen. So you just kind of have to wait and see. Um, so yeah, it, uh, looks like it updated successfully. Don't be concerned if you come back out and everything's just off and, you know, it doesn't say successful because it looks like everything's working okay. So one thing I've noticed is, uh, after the update is that the noise to tell you to put your hand back on the wheel has changed. Let's see if we can get it to happen. So I'll just not hold the wheel. So the orange one is not making any noise anymore. Red, listen to that. Yeah, even that one's different. So uh, so yeah, I thought that was interesting. Uh, I'm not sure why they changed it. I kind of liked it better before because it's, it's quieter now and I don't pay attention as much, so. All right, so it's been a couple days and I just got this uh, 281 uh, update available. So it says uh, Pro Trailer Backup Assist, Refinements, Updates, and Features. Okay, let me shut the door because I know it's kind of loud. <clears throat> um, and focus. Uh, if you have the Pro Trailer Backup Assist, which we do right there. I haven't used it yet, but I've been planning on it. Uh, you can now choose either the checkered target sticker or the um, the actual sensor that mounts to the, the trailer. Um Let's see, your rate sensor. Second, we began modifying your system so that it can receive even more robust updates in the future. <laughs> okay. Um, that step will require an additional download. Not surprised. Uh, and because of its complexity, that update will take longer. Uh, you may have already received this update, but this version has been fine-tuned and includes additional tweaks to other features. Okay. Well, let's... Uh, so it says it's pending. So let's do update now. Holy cow! 145 minutes. Jeez. I mean, I'm not going anywhere, but that's a long freaking time. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I guess we'll do uh, continue. I'm definitely not sitting in the truck for this update. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's a little too long. All right, so I'll wait for the two minutes and then we'll see what happens. Probably the, the update, uh, or preparing update screen again. Okay, yeah, it just goes to the preparing update and usually this takes a little while, so I'll, uh, you know, just break here. That way I'm not wasting everybody's time. Okay, so that preparing update part took about, felt like about five minutes. Uh, and then the truck like accessories seem to restart twice during that process because I can hear the dash cam turn on because it makes a little noise. So uh, that happened twice. Yep, that noise right there. Uh, that was perfect timing. So um, so yeah, it says uh, it'll take up, up to about 145 minutes. Uh, and then, um, you know, I'll just, I'm, I'm going to leave the truck, just let it do its thing this time because I'm not going to sit here the whole time. But uh, we'll come back out in a little while and see how it's progressing. All right, so I just came out. It's been about an hour and a half. Um, I know that's a little sooner than they said, but I noticed I came out and it was like 50% like like 20 minutes ago or a half hour ago. So I uh, just popped back in to see. Let's see. Just hit the... <laughs> Not sure why the radio's on. Probably got to hit the power button. Um... Definition of television these days. 
Okay, so I, uh, it looks like it worked. So let me hit the download. Yeah, successfully updated. Two, two, eight, one. So it didn't take uh, nearly as much time as they thought it was going to. It only took me uh, just about an hour and a half um, to, to load it. So that's good. Uh, so we're up to 281 now, which is good. So I noticed with this latest update, it's doing this when I'm driving like very slowly where it just shows the rear camera and it says, please check surroundings for safety. I've never seen this before the entire time we've owned this truck. So it's gotta be something with the new update. I just don't understand why it's showing me the rear of the truck. <laughs> it makes no sense to me. So if you guys have any idea why this is happening, um, you know, I'm guessing it's for some kind of safety thing, but I have no idea what, uh, you know, just let me know what, what, what do you guys think in the comments down below. All right, since the uh, the big update, it's been uh, a couple days, and it just did an automatic one. So let's see what version this one is. So we're up to 2.8.2. So again, this is kind of continuing that, you know, every day or every couple days, you know, update uh, since like 2.7.1, that it's just been like boom, boom, boom. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's another update to get more updates. <laughs> so it's... Uh, not much information here, but uh, at least it's still continuing the update process. I'm really looking forward to 283 because that's the one that I've heard that can uh, you can use your camera while you're driving down the road. Uh, at least, fingers crossed. All right, so looks like we got 283. Um, so rear view camera has been approved. Some camera views are now available. Wider vehicles in motion. The view from the trailer, auxiliary camera, pop stop, separately. Okay, nice. So you can actually put in a uh, separate trailer camera if you want, or it'll just be the rear camera of the vehicle. There's also the picture in picture, so you can simultaneously monitor two camera views. The split view allows you to view trailer reverse guidance cameras in your choice of either the center, high mounted stop lamp camera view, or the trailer auxiliary camera, which is separate. Okay, yeah, that's it. Separate. Yeah, so there is my model. Okay. So I already did try out the uh, camera while in motion. It does uh, work pretty well. I'll show you a little bit more here in a minute. And then um, I haven't tried the backing up to the trailer to see if there's anything that affects my truck because I don't have that auxiliary camera or anything. All right, so let's hit the camera button. There we go. I wish that please check surroundings for safety thing wasn't right in the way of where vehicles would be behind me, but at least now I'll be able to look down at the hitch while I'm towing, so I like that. Also, in case anybody was wondering, there is no time limit. I've been driving for about 15 minutes. Uh, so far, I haven't seen the camera turn off like some vehicles do uh, with the, uh, you know, use, being able to use the camera while driving. A lot of times it's like, you know, a countdown, like 30 seconds or whatever. Uh, this seems to stay on all the time. Just kind of nice. So hopefully you guys found that video interesting. Um, the there, like I said, there was a bunch of updates right in a row. They were all anywhere from a day to two days apart from each other. So I tried to just cram them all into one, and then uh, yeah, I couldn't believe that that one update was that long. But um, you know, just make sure you've got time to not drive the vehicle for a little bit. Uh, so yeah, just uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, uh, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Have a good one, guys. See ya.